Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, man. Young Dre and this motherfucker playing this clean ass Horizon Zero Dawn for the foe, you dig? Just chilling and shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Just really made it inside this Zero Automated Solutions fucking power, whatever you want to call this shit. Making progress, man. So let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, go on. You know where to save it, man. Oh, it looks like a spaceship, like a crash alien ship. <laughs> it's been sitting here for kind of thousand years and shit. Scarab combines conventional and information. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. Oh, is there four of them? Nope, just three. Listen to this one again. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions, from 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models and you've got the workhorse of any cutting-edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. They're talking about it here. <laughs> the BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were far machines too. Manufacturing key. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? It looks like the way up. What's left of it? You got skills, bro. Barely even push anything. She's hopping all the way there, bro. It'll be a long way up. 
frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Mom. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, guess I can too. Bumps. Come on, Aloy. Not even that cold. This is the way out, too. Go the way I was going. Yeah, she was cold. I mean. Running start and shit and she jumps like I just jumped off while I was The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Yay. 
yeah, yeah. Young Dre and his bitch. Signing off. Gone.